Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you the design process of this model in FreeCAD using only the part design or points. So now let's go to FreeCAD and create a new document. Click on this plus icon and change to part design or bench. Okay, and first here to draw this model, we'll start by this part here. We'll use this additive cylinder tool. Click on this arrow and select additive cylinder. And now press home in your care board and for the cylinder here we'll select axi plane as the plane for the attachment and now let's change the range of this cylinder here as you can see in the section view we have a diameter of 7 here so the range here will be the half of 7 35 and the height of this cylinder will set 10 set 10 here and then click ok and now press home and as you can see now we have this cylinder and next here let's create this part this cylinder here but for this cylinder we'll use these radius here radius of 20 so what we do we go to this tool again and now we select for the attachment of the cylinder we select this face here and now we change this radius to 20 we change to this dimension here 20 change here to 20 and the height of the cylinder will set as you can see here we have 16 so change here to 16 and then click ok and now we have this and next here what we can do we can create this cylinder here the diameter of, of this cylinder as you can see is 30 and the height is 24 so what we do is select additive cylinder again and for this cylinder we select this face here and we change the radius here to 15 and the height to 24 as you can see here and now click ok and next here we can create this cylinder for the amount of 24 and the height of 50 the cylinder here so what we do here again we select additive cylinder and for this cylinder we select this face and then we change the radius here to 12 and the height to 50 as you can see here 50 and 24 and now click ok and now as you can see we have these cylinders here these four cylinders and next what we can do here is to create this part here and this part here so to create this part here what we'll do is create a new sketch click in this icon to create a new sketch and for this sketch here select yc plane we have to select yc plane click in this plane and now switch to the section view and what we need to do now is to extract this edge here so here in this sketch our geometry select external geometry tool and let's try to extract this edge here okay and now what you need to do is to draw this sketch so now first select this polling tool and draw this sketch okay escape and now draw this vertical line and now select arc tool and draw this arc in these two points okay and now you will set some constraints for these points so for example for these two points here we'll set horizontal constraint okay and now we can set the dimensions of this sketch here so what you do first first here we'll set this the height of this line here so select vertical distance tool and click in this line and as you can see here we have 105 between this line here to this line so the distance here will be the half of 105 okay and we get this dimension here and now let's add the dimension of this line here uh, as you can see here we have this distance 140 so what we'll do here we'll extract this edge select external jump tool and extract this edge here and now select horizontal distance tool select this point 
and then this point here and set the distance okay and now we have one degree of freedom so we have to set the range of this arc here so let's go to this string page and here we can see a range of 70 for this arc so what we do we select this constraint diameter here and we select this arc and we set 70 and now leave the sketch and select revolution 2 and here we need to change the edges of this revolution so click here and select y axis and then click ok and now as you can see we have this part here and the next step here is to create this cylinder so what you need to do is to create a new sketch select this icon and for this sketch select XY plane so let's select XY plane and now switch to the section view and what we need here we need to extract this edge here so select external jump tool and extract this edge and now select cycle tool and draw this cycle and then select horizontal constraint and now these two points okay and now we have one degree of freedom so now let's set the diameter of the cycle so as you can see here we have 40 so select this constraint cycle and click it in this cycle and set the dimension and now leave the sketch and select pet tool and here check this option symmetric to plane and the length of these will set 105 okay and now click ok and as you can see we have this part now and next here what we'll do we'll create this this pocket here and next this pocket so what we need to do to create this pocket here is to create a new sketch select this icon to create a new sketch select x y plane for this sketch and switch to the section view and now what you need to do is to extract this circle this edge here select external jump tool and extract this edge okay now we have these and now we'll draw this arc here so select arc tool and draw this arc select this point and this circular edge and set tangent okay and now we have this and the next here select select polyline tool and draw this sketch press them two times and okay now draw this horizontal line and next here what we'll do we'll select this point and this center point here and then horizontal constraint okay and now let's add the dimension of this sketch so first here what we'll do we'll set this horizontal distance here between the center point and the center point of this arc here so first we select this horizontal distance tool and then this and next we select this point the center point and then the center point here and we set 7 okay and now we have one degree of freedom so let's set the range of this arc here select this constraint here click in this and as you can see we have this problem here so as you can see here we have to set the distance between this point here to this point so we can select this point and this point here and set vertical constraint so now we have the sketch full constrained so leave the sketch and then select pocket tool set symmetric plane and change the top to triangle and as you can see now we have this pocket and the next step here is to mirror this pocket so what you need to do is to first go to the model and select pocket and now the mirror to click in this icon and now as you can see we have the pocket here so click ok now we can create this pocket here using a new sketch so first create a new sketch in xy sorry in yz plane and here switch to the section view and what you need to do here is to draw a slot we'll use this tool here click this tool and then draw this slot in this way okay and now as you can see we have to constrain this slot here so first what we'll do here is to select this external jump tool 
and extract this edge here and then select this point and this line here and this constraint and now we have two degrees of freedom so next here we can next here we can set the edge of this arc here so select constraint cycle and then click in this arc and the edge here will be as you can see we have take two here so change here to take two and then click ok okay and now we can leave the sketch click in this icon and now select pocket tool and change the type to trogol and as you can see now check this option here smart plane and now we have this pocket then click ok and now we need to create this hole here to create this hole what you need to do is to select this face and select this icon this hole tool and first here what we'll do we'll change the diameter of this hole to 24 and then we'll set the height of this hole so the diameter is 24 and let's change the here to 200 okay and now as you can see we have this hole in these two parts okay and next here what we can do we can create this these parts here and this cylinder so what you need to do is to select this face here and then create a new sketch in this face and now what you need to do is to select the external jump tool and extract this edge and now select the line tool and here we'll draw these two lines so draw this line in this way and next this line in this way and for this for this line here we'll select arc tool select arc tool and okay switch to section view and now as you can see we have the center point click in this origin point and connect these two points and do the same for these two points okay and now as you can see we have five degrees of freedom so let's set the dimension of this sketch to full constraint this sketch and first here what we'll do we'll select equal constraint and we'll set these two lines equal and now here we'll select constraint cycle and we'll set the rate of this arc here is 24 okay and now select horizontal distance tool and for this two points here we'll set a distance of 2.3 millimeters okay and the distance between this point to this point here will set will set four millimeters okay and now as you can see we have one degree of freedom so escape and let's see what is the problem select this horizontal constraint and then these two points okay and now as you can see we have the sketch full constrained so leave the sketch and now select pet tool and here set reverse it and then change here the type to up to face and select this face here and then click ok and now it's time to create these all parts so the way to do that is to go to the model select the pad and then this tool here polar pattern and what we do here here we change the number of occurrence to 16 and then click ok and now as you can see we have this we have this part and next here we can create the chamfer operations and this fillet here so what you need to do to create this chamfer here this chamfer and this chamfer what you need to do is to select this edge here control and select this edge this edge here and then this edge and then select chamfer tool and size of this chamfer as you can see is two millimeters so change the size to two and then click ok and as, as you can see we have this okay and now let's create this fillet here the size of this fillet is ok 
okay where is the fillet is four millimeters so what you need to do is to select this edge and then the fillet tool and change the ridge to four and enter and as you can see now we have this and now let's create the fillet here in these edge the size of this fillet is is two millimeters so what you need to do is to select this edge and then this edge control and select this edge here and then select fillet tool change the radius to two millimeters and now click ok and next here let's create this hole with a diameter of five and a length of five so what we need to do here is to select this face and then click in the hole tool change the diameter to five and the depth to five and then click ok and now as you can see we have this part here and for this video it's all we finished the design of this model so thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends thank you